thank you for clicking the video. Um, the point of this video is to share my story with uh, disc herniation L5-S1 uh, with the intention of helping you either combat your current injury, if it's the same as mine L5-S1, and to um, get you through this. Or, you know, hopefully you can avoid a potential injury like this. So I want to talk about my story. Um, about three years ago, I suffered an L5-S1 disc herniation. It was, suffice to say, I think through poor form, poor, poor form and lifting, a uh, combination of having tight hamstrings, tight hips, and um, I think that my core on the front side of my abdomens were too strong and my lower back was too weak. So that is how um, I received my herniation. And some of the the pain, I guess the pain, you already know what you're going through as far as pain is concerned, but what I was experiencing was sciatic through my left side, um, not being able to sit down for longer than 30 seconds, uh, sleeping at night was very, very, very difficult without the assistance of anti-inflammatories and uh, pain medications, and lastly just um, walking. Walking was very difficult. Um, every time I walked, took a step, I felt that coursing pain through my left side. So those are some of the things that I experienced. and. I'm sure that if you are suffering from the same thing, you're having a combination of those symptoms as well. So, how long did I deal with the pain? I've dealt with it for about nine months without um, really knowing what to do. I didn't know what to, uh, how to fix myself. My whole life, I've been trying to um, find the best you know, home remedies or exercises. Exercise the issue of being an athlete my whole life. But something like this is very difficult if you don't know um, where to point you in the direction. A lot of you know, healthcare professionals are more concerned with the short-term pain relief than longer lasting um, remedies because that's counterproductive for the income of that uh, department. So some of the things that we're gonna talk about today, um, it's just like what I did. Like I said, I suffered for nine months. I didn't really know what, what to do, what uh, direction I was going in. What I did do is continue to lift weights. That is the wrong answer. I did hurt myself more um, and I did not allow my body to recover. So after a little research on my own, I, I, I thought the best course of action at the time was to have surgery. So 20, 23 years old, 22 years old, something around that nature, I had, uh, I had the surgery to cut out the excess herniation from the disc. Did this fix my issue? No, it did not. Um, it took a little bit of the pressure away, but I was still not um, pain-free for the next two months. So I decided to take manners in my own, own hands, um, study up on the issue, and do my own research. And what I found is um, the exercises that um, work I used to correct myself is actually attached in another video, which I'll link in the description. Please check that out. Those five exercises is actually what healed me. That and a combination of stretches, which I'm gonna be doing in another video. So, like I said, I wanna to try to make this a little short for you guys, but the main points here is, please do some research on your own um, to come up with the best thing for you. Um, healthcare professionals aren't necessarily gonna give you everything, um, not necessarily give you, but it's very hard to treat a back back injury because every case, it's a case by case, it's very different. Um, as far as right now, I've been pain-free for three years. There's been no issues whatsoever. Um, and I've even shifted back into weightlifting with, I'm talking dead squats and bench press with no pain at all. So, um, like I said, this video is gonna be short. I just wanted to cover you know, my injury. What's the point of this channel? Um, I'm gonna be putting out all videos directed at having um, lower back health. I'm not a healthcare professional. I'm just a guy who suffered just like you did and was looking for this kind of information at the time um, of my injury. And if I had this kind of, um, this type of information when I was hurt, I probably wouldn't have went the surgery route because I think long-term that's gonna hurt me too. So my suggestions for you, obviously consult a uh, medical professional, but my suggestions for you would be take the time that you need to heal your body um, naturally. Anti-inflammatories are your friend, Please do not, you know, use too many as they can damage your um, your stomach, your liver. It's a pretty heavy load for those two things. So, and then continue to do the exercises that I've detailed um, in the link below for that video. And I'm going to get into a video also about what supplements to take that's going to help speed up your recovery. And then what is the best method? Is it like heat or ice? Heat or ice? What are we using to? Um, make the issue go away a little bit faster. So thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a short five minute video. If you have any 
think any topics that you'd like me to discuss, please feel free to email me at 315calisthenics um, at gmail.com. That's also going to be attached at the end of the video. And thank you for tuning in. See you next time.